Uh, house rules. No makeup on the bed or the pillows. Do we really need it written in a book? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Rachel, you said this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. The honeymoons are over and it's time for the couples to move into a hotel. As they settle in, Holly decides to sage her apartment and her husband. Al pops his washing machine cherry and Anthony and Celine move into individual apartments. When you're here and you come to these sort of situations like this and you're by yourself, it feels isolating. Any couple that's separated at the moment, so it is a bit lonely, of course it is. All of the couples have pictures of their wedding day in their new rooms. The married at first sight experts deliver USB sticks where they declare it is confession week. They explain that the couples will face confronting tasks and Al and Mitch respond in saying that they are bad bees. Confess now. I'm a bad, bad boy. I'm bad, bad bitch. Holly and Andrew receive instructions to write a letter to each other, confessing something they've never told anyone before. Andrew boasts and reveals he's had roughly 350 sexual partners in the past, meaning he's a thought, he's a hoe, he's any derogatory term to use for a slut. Okay. I'm a very sexual person and have had roughly 350 sexual partners in the past. While well, Holly shares her desire to have a baby and how she's worried this urgency will scare him off. Um, uh, and I fear that this may put pressure on you and I hope not to scare you away. Which sort of does, as he tells the cameras, I feel like it's almost too much pressure on me, like we're still getting to know each other. And I'm not there yet with her. I'm just not sure that that's what I want. The experts hook Tamara and Brent up with their audition tapes. And when Tamara's rolls in, Brent does not like what he sees. Tamara thinks her audition tape is honestly the best comedy show she's ever watched. Quite, quite vain or whatever, but it's true. Which is awkward given that her husband is horrified. It gives context to Brent and he supports her in saying that she's not the person in the video when she's with him. It wasn't coming from a place of they have to have money and stuff like that in a way of like it coming across as being pretentious. It's because I don't want to look after someone else anymore. The fact that we are getting along the way we are and, and things are going, you know, fairly well, I mean... Yeah, and that person when I'm around you isn't what I'm like, so that's why... You're right, it's not. How did this relationship become so healthy? I don't know, but I like them, I like this, and I, I am here for them. They are part of my favorite couples. Al and Sam received their photo ranking challenge. Al ranks Sam first in front of the MILF Celine, but Sam puts Al third behind Andrew and Anthony who have lived. Al is done to have been placed behind the older grooms and possibly by the revelation that he has not truly lived. She put the guys who are more mature at the top. She mentioned they're a bit older, they're I guess more established, definitely concerning because yeah, not really established. I still live with my mom. Sam is going to change her decision after rewatching this because I don't think she's that into Andrew no more. Meanwhile, Brent reveals that him and Tamara engaged in intimacy and I am so happy for them. Last night, <clears throat> we engaged in intimacy, yes. Back to Andrew and Holly, he decided to sleep on the couch and he is also on his laptop, which is very confusing to me. What are you doing? Andrew has decided the urgency of Holly wanting a baby is a bit too much for him and that he doesn't want to waste her time. I know that she wants a child. I'm gonna make the bed. Immediately, she, it's urgent for her. And um, it's put a lot of pressure on me. Moving over to Jackson and Olivia, they watch Jackson's audition tape where he opens up about protecting his mom and sisters from violence. He tells Olivia that his mom has been assaulted and he's visibly upset. It brings back a lot of emotions and feelings which have obviously been pushing down for a very long time. Olivia is extremely supportive and my girl, thank you. 
Jeez, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's... Did not expect that. Anthony writes his confession from his apartment before heading over to Celine. They are amicable so far, which is refreshing. And Celine shares her experience with baby blues after her son was born. Postnatal depression is a very real thing and a common thing. And I think it's great she's sharing her own story as part of her confession. During my birth, I was told my son was too big to deliver naturally. And once I had time to process what they said, I realized the worry of having a child can cause someone. Soon after having him, I was rushed to theatre. I was separated from him for what felt like forever. I wasn't worried about me and my recovery. All I could think about was him. When we got home, I experienced baby blues. Andrew and Holly receive the photo ranking task. Holly puts Brent first, which is a decision I can get around, and says that Andrew would have been first if he wasn't consistently making her feel like shit. Maybe there. Andrew responds by telling Holly he doesn't feel responsible for how she feels because he has been honest. Things escalate. Holly blows up at Andrew and Andrew... I'm going to leave now, Holly. Do you think he'll stick around for the rest of the process? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.